In order to capture the on-the-ground perspectives of some of our uh, partners who are offering you saving products, I'm speaking with Lucas Mwangi, who's a marketing officer with Kenya Post Office Savings Bank. And I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit more about your youth saving product and specifically on the marketing side of things, uh, what, what are the, some of the features of your, of your account? Um, thank you. For any product to be successful for any organization, the component of uh, research is very important. So for our youth save product, we did start with the research that ended in uh, July 2011. Then from then, we started our pilot. Pilot is uh, where you use the research data and now you test them in the field with the respondents. And uh, in this case, we did our pilot from July 2011 all the way to uh, May 2012. And uh, during the pilot, we were able to uh, pick out a number of uh, issues we evaluated them from the youth themselves and um, we were able to incorporate them to the product that we had uh, uh, first developed as for pilot. So they actually, um, those features we took, um, the issues we took from them, we used to refine our product for rollout. Therefore, after incorporating what the pilot had said, um, learning from pilot, we came up now with a product that is well packaged, ready for the market, and we did an official launch on the uh, 12th of July. But prior to the launch, we had already started doing a rollout after ensuring this good training to our staff. Um, we had ensured that the uh, systems are okay and they are working and they are ready for the product and therefore the actual rollout started on uh, the 6th of May. This product that we developed, the youth gave it a name. We branded the product and the name is Smarter Account. Smarter means to be smart. Uh, smarter means uh, you are on top of things. Smarter means that in your peer group, you are seen as a leader, you are seen as an opinion person. And therefore the youth really uh, liked that name and through the pilot, it was actually a confirmation that the name that a few people had earlier given, who are in the target group, was now being accommodated and adopted by even a larger group during pilot. And therefore our product has a name, we call it this matter product. Great. And so uh, on this subject of your youth customer and your youth client, describe who they are and, and who, who's your typical youth customer. Thank you. Um, the Smarter account is specifically targeting youth who are between the ages of 12 years up to 18 years. And this youth may be in school or they may be out of school. This youth can be girls or boys. And this product now covers them on that age bracket. Now, therefore, the bank has ensured that we do not lose the youth even after they are 18. And therefore, Kenya Post Office Savings Bank, otherwise trading as Post Bank, uh, has another product called Step Account that takes them up from 18. Actually, there's a transition code in the system that transits the youth, but when the youth now visits the branch, he's told you are beyond 18 now, uh, we've, uh, we have these various other accounts that you could switch to. And also for the young ones who are below 12 years, we have BD Junior account as Postbank. Therefore, we have covered the whole youth spectrum. Now, the other feature to this product that's also very attractive to the youth, and we also got it from the research we did, is that uh, the account opening is only $0.6, mm -hmm. or Kenya shillings 50. And that is very affordable. It's a very attractive feature, so that any time you present this account to anyone, it becomes very easy for them to open, very friendly to, uh, to, to, the, to the target group, and also this account, we do not have any maintenance fee. Mm -hmm. Remember, 
our key objective as a bank is not only to have the account numbers but more to have the youth have a savings culture we want to inculcate that behavior in them so that they become responsible citizens in the future and that means that the youth will not only have savings in terms of money in the account but their behavior the way they carry out their lives the way they do things will have been changed so that we are giving a financial education so you'll also realize that one of the components when we visit the youth whether in schools for those who are in school or in out of school and where they congregate one of the key things we do as a bank is to ensure that the financial education is disseminated to them there are many times we have forums just to go and give financial education because we are more interested in what changes in their life this product this account should change their lives and the way they handle their activities that was really helpful in providing a, a, not only a, a sense of the customer but also of the product and how those features match up with some of the needs uh, what are and I guess my final question for you is you know what two pieces of advice would you give to another financial institution who are looking to open and looking to pilot new savings accounts maybe I can respond to that from our research findings mm -hmm. that one we found out the youth can save mm -hmm. we found out that the youth are looking for somebody to also educate them on the discipline of savings we found out that they have money. Unlike a common belief that youth may not have money enough to support a product. And therefore, I would like to say that this product, the youth segment, is a viable segment. It's a viable segment. And when you look at it mostly from the point of the long term, not today. Because in the long term, it means you'll have built a good base and through the financial education that you've given them then these are the same people who will make your future customers even when they get beyond their youth age then they have already got your education you have inculcated the behavior you have impacted on their lives and therefore in the long term even to a banking institution it's a great viable product and the other thing is that the customer service is key also to sustaining this youth because there is the emotional contact the emotional element of you providing a product other than the account being opened rather than the money coming to the bank what other thing changes in them into your customer and when you have grown with this youth when you give them good quality customer service then it is that service element that will make them keep and remain with you and therefore in the long term you will not even you'll be able to get all your initial costs done you'll be able to have a new generation into your bank that can stay with you even longer and therefore the viability of the product that is proven great well lucas thanks so much for the insightful conversation uh, we'll be talking next with a branch manager at kenya post office savings bank but thank you for your time thank you so I'm here with Oscar Atindo. Uh, he's a branch manager from Kenya Post Office Savings Bank, and he was one of the most successful branch managers for USAVE in terms of number of accounts opened. And I thought he could provide a really on the ground perspective around what it takes to be a successful branch manager and really have uh, increased outreach around some of these low income youth focused products. And so if I'm a youth interested in the Smata account, what are some of the features and benefits that you would tell me about in order to get me interested in the account? Oh, one, one of the benefits uh, of, of, of holding a youth account is that what will give you the first experience to hold an account. Because most of the youth in between the 12 and 18 years in Kenya don't hold accounts which they control by themselves. Mm -hmm. But here is an opportunity for you to hold an account by yourself that you control, although with some limited uh, uh, supervision from the trusted adult. Yeah. 
Great, mm -hmm. great. And so, uh, are there any sorts of features when it comes to you know being able to start savings at a low amount that would be of interest, or that you've that you've highlighted to youth, or is it really just this ownership um, idea that that's been most pronounced? Okay, because of uh, most of the youth are not uh, at the moment we are selling them the product in schools. Most of them are not, uh, they're not making income in any way. Mm -hmm. So we have subsidized the product in the sense that we're giving a free uh, uh, debit card. Great. We are giving a free debit card. And uh, okay, we are also uh, encouraging them to open uh, their accounts with uh, 50 Kenya shillings, which is approximately $0.5. Great. So it is. So the product is so subsidized to encourage. We are accepting deposits mm -hmm. as low as zero point five dollars. Great. Okay, which a customer, which which we, which you can deposit at any of our uh, large networks. You've had success on uh, growing this product offering, and I was wondering what two pieces of advice would you give to other branch managers who are looking to open new savings account or pilot new savings accounts. To own the product, the the, the product uh, uh, has an advantage in the sense that as it is, it will be easy to increase sales in the branch. That is one of the reasons, because this is a group of people that when you go to talk to, nobody has ever talked to them before. An opportunity to grow business because they have money, to little money. The product is so subsidized, so the chances of opening many accounts is very high, mm. and attracting more customer base within an area because this is a, an unbanked population mm -hmm. in Kenya. We invite you to join us on the YouSave website at YouSave.org to hear updates on this project and others.